Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Park and Recreation Advisory Committee, committee meeting. Today is April 18th, 2022. We do have a quorum, and I call this meeting to order. First business is I need to get a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting. I make a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting. I second. And a second from Ms. Davison. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? All right, we're going to get started, but before we do, I want to say thank you to Vice Chairman Carol Haas for taking over for me last month. I apologize for not being here. I did watch the meeting. She did a great job, and it was quick and painless, so you did a great job. Thank you. And it's not on the list, so before we get started also, I want to tell David, Andrew, Sheila, and Kathy's not here, and all your park crew, what a great job you did with the Easter egg hunt. I think that is a, uh, it's my understanding that uh, people kind of chuckled at us last year because we were the only community to have one throughout COVID and it caught on in a couple different cities and now they're doing it because let's face it, you can't decide what mother nature is going to do. So it was very well organized. Every child got something. The weather was a little bit off kilter, so it turned out great. So just want to tell you guys uh, what a great job, and of course the Easter Bunny. With that being said, we'll get started. Uh, who's going to? Miss Kathy is off, so who's going to take over tonight for the block party? I have her notes in front of me, so I will do my best to <laughs> fill her shoes. We'll see how that goes. All right. Um, block party. We'll start with it. It's May seventh, from five p.m. to eight p.m. Um, we're going to have a cornhole tournament. Twenty dollars per team. You can sign up online. Um, we're going to have some inflatables, a uh, spider jump, inflatable obstacle course, a laser tag activity, um, mobile axe throwing, DJ food vendors, um, craft vendors, and then we're going to close the night out with uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog uh, movie on the football field at 8 p.m. No Duncan Booth this year? No Duncan Booth this year. <laughs> Aww. We wouldn't mind having one back, but... The people that got in the booth last year, I think after a couple times, it's pretty hard on them. They were all, I think, regretting that they bit that off. Uh, <laughs> especially five months out of uh, yeah. complete shoulder restructure. And I that think was, every, not just uh, you, I think everybody that got in there, they were pretty much wore out after the time they got, you know, when they crawled out of there. And do we have now a Now, we number? will open that up to other board members if you guys would like to do that. Can we recommend other people, other boards? <laughs> we can. What's that? No, not, not me. <laughs> no. I think with everything that's, uh, I think that with everything that's going on, uh, the Duncan booth is an added plus, and it, it, it's, it's funny, it's, it's comical. Uh, but the kids loved it. The kids loved it, but I don't think we're going to, be any kind of detrimental trouble if we don't do it no no yeah i think we've got a pretty good event set up and i think this is our last year was the first year we had it so i think it's just going to continue to grow with us adding a movie at the end of it <clears> that's going to help things out a lot also do you have a number of um, people signed up for cornhole tournament yet do you happen to know them i think I know we're getting some in every day. I hate to throw a number out there because it's not going to be right. But we do already have people signed up. We okay. do have people signed up, and I think registration is still going to take place up to the event, okay. um, which was what we did last year also. I think it opened up just last week, didn't it? What well, I've been, trying to be, uh, I've been trying to be a little bit quiet about it because I know once it comes out that me and Tom's going to be in it. People don't want to <laughs> come and play against us and donate their money, so... Here comes the smack talk. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Jody. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, what what do you do in regards to people that just want to join cornhole, but is uh, singles? They can. You can probably come out, and they would match you to somebody. I think they have boards set up. Do you also have a setup like that already? That are just to throw because the company's bringing the boards out. Uh huh. So if you're not taking place in the tournament, they still have boards set up where you just want to throw. But there's no. You can't be a. You can't get two singles together and join the actual competition you probably could if there was a sing if there was another, another single, single person there, sitting you around pair just up going. with somebody ahead okay. of time mm -hmm. yes ma'am okay surely you can get a partner jody <laughs> i don't 
don't know where though. Huh? I don't we know can, where though because we can get you a partner out there. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's. I'm going for sure. Yeah, I mean you can donate your money to me. It's all right. <laughs> or not to me, but you know. All right. Any more questions about the block party? Now, this is the anniversary picnic. This is something that's new. Nice. Mr. David? It is new. Um, we're doing it for the 50th anniversary of the city being incorporated. Um, it's June the 11th. Um, the times haven't been nailed down yet. Um, we are, Andrew's idea, Andrew and Kathy got together. We're trying to add a touch of truck element to the event. Um, we're waiting on the city's insurance to approve that. And in case you haven't heard of a touch of truck, which I haven't either, I'll turn it over to Andrew because it's his brain. Oh, what's the name of it? Touch a truck. Touch a truck. Touch, touch a truck. Basically what it is, you call, uh, maybe when you'll definitely have your fire and police out there, your ambulance service. Um, maybe contact some of your local construction companies or equipment suppliers, and they'll have, like, excavators out there, dump trucks, and kids get to come out and basically see firsthand, up close, uh, different pieces of equipment. Touch a truck. Touch a truck, basically. <laughs> basically Something yeah. little kids get to see. Um, nice. Another idea we have is maybe giving kids like a little vest. I little, know somebody. Little hard hats. So if you got any contacts, definitely yeah. let Kathy know and, or Sheila, and then we can reach out to them. Yeah, we'd like to get any equipment rental companies out there, um, any type of earth moving equipment, um, Smyrna Ready Mix, you know, just... We even wouldn't even mind having some tractors out there. Just something that kids don't get to see on a regular basis and don't have the opportunity to see. Um, that's why we're waiting on the city's insurance in case they climb up there to get a picture made. We want to make sure everything's covered. So that's kind of our goal, to have them sitting up there taking a picture. So, uh, Andrew, uh, have, have, are you talking to some equipment places? We have not yet. Like I said, I think Kathy's working with... Uh, insurance right now to make sure we are able to do this before so we reach out to people so i need to wait until that's clear before i because i i happen to know very well some people in that business probably so but yeah that would be a great help how long until you hear from insurance i'm, I'm not sure about that so but when kathy does we can definitely reach out to you all and let you know if you know anybody that we can get in contact with and this is going to sound really bizarre, but could we include a school bus? Yeah. I Landon don't see why not. is obsessed yeah. with school right. buses. Oh. <laughs> Any, anything big that a, that a kid thinks is awesome, that's what it's about for us. So. Okay. You yeah, we may try to. It hasn't been to school yet. They're going to want to touch a school bus. School bus. Oh, my grandson loves them. Right? It's something. Yeah, we it's definitely. Reach out to uh, the Speedway, see if they can bring the pace car out. You know, they were lined up to be in the parade last year. and and then uh, canceled at the last minute. So we may reach back out to them and see if that's possible. Okay, I, I, I kind of see what you're doing here. Yeah, so that, that'll, uh, yeah. Well, that's good Yeah. Hopefully we'll good hear deal. back soon and we can start the process. Yeah, so I guess, Sheila, uh, if we can get your email working, you'll send us emails and tell us, <laughs> tell us or text message. And uh, you tell Jerry. Jerry, get a hold of us. <laughs> Well, June will be and, here before you know it, and if we have to reach out and plan. You know. Speaking of speaking of June the 11th, is that correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. when, when is June 10th? I think it's June 19th, isn't it? Same day as Father's Day. June 19th. Same day as Father's Day? Yep. Okay. Because I know that that's going to happen. I want to make sure that... Uh, well, not. you know, Shamil moved to uh, Murfreesboro now, so she kind of spearheaded that the last couple of years. So I don't know if that's still going to take place in our park since uh, we haven't, you know, I don't know how. I've got somebody else in mind to do that because I'd like to see it happen because of the uh, diversity here in the city. So uh, being it's on the 19th, that won't conflict with anything that we have. Mm -mm. Other than Father's Day. Unless we already have uh, pavilion rentals, I'm not sure. We'll check on that tomorrow because we didn't have anything on the I'm gonna As soon as this meeting's over, I'm going to make a phone call. But even if she doesn't live here, she still would probably like to spearhead it. Oh, yeah. She doesn't have to live here to participate. Okay. All right. Yeah. I just didn't know since we haven't had any contact with her since then if that was still a possibility. Okay, any more questions about uh, the anniversary picnic? 
All right, we'll move on to July 4th. July 4th um, starts at 6 p.m. That's our day for, um, we have the fireworks celebration that night at dusk, usually about 8, 45, 9 o'clock. Um, Phoenix Rising will be the band this year. Food trucks will be on site, um, and she is still in the process of working on the activities for kids. Usually it's bounce houses. I don't know if she's going to go the bounce house route again, um, but we'll have something, be it uh, face painting, balloon animals, something in you know that general realm um, to keep kids occupied. Any questions? Oh, I do. Um, will that will those things be paid? Things like if you have vendors and and things out there. So when we promote it, hey, come out to the park and watch the fireworks. There's you know, dollar hot dogs, or there's, you know, free this, free that. Um, the food vendors, the food trucks usually sell their goods. Okay. Um, in the past, we've generally paid, like, face painting and the balloon animals okay. and stuff like that, so the city will provide that. Bounce okay. houses, no charge. Any activities like that, usually the that comes out of the park's budget. Okay, so that'll be easier the, to promote. Yeah. Here's your food trucks, these things over here. Yep are going to be free for the family. Right. And, you know, kind of what we ran into last year, food trucks will be on scene. Um, people, of course, are welcome to bring their picnic and enjoy the night with their family on the, field, on the football field. All right. I know Kathy's called me the other day. She's working on the Old Timers Festival, and I, I'm assuming you all got the emails. Skip the farmer's, skip market. The farmer's market. Oh, did I? <laughs> it's because I don't want to talk about them tomatoes. <laughs> I'm sorry. We do. We need to back up and talk about farmer's market. Um, farmer's market will run from June through August this year. Um, we are receiving registrations, and they are coming in. I believe we had a couple today, maybe, if I'm – Remember correctly? Maybe one. one. So, yeah, we're taking registrations for that, and we're still accepting vendors on that. I know she's reached out to, s to several different food truck uh, operations to see if they'd be interested in coming also. So that will be the first Saturday in June. What's the date? That would be uh, June 4th. So June the 4th is, is opening day. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Until... October 1st? August. August. Yeah. Through, August. The August. Through the end of August. the end of August. September. What's August. the month after August? September. Yeah, September. <laughs> so it'd be the last Saturday in August, the 27th? Yes. Okay. So did you say August 27th? August 27th. Okay. I had a little surgery today. I'm still a little loopy. Oh, okay. That's my excuse that's anyway. Excuse. You know, okay. that's my excuse anyway. <laughs> we'll let you, we'll let you go on that. Okay, now we will move on to Old Timers Festival. Um, Old Timers Festival is... Now, but David, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Before this conversation starts, we do not want to talk about the Grand Marshal here. No. That's correct because I don't think... <laughs> That's been made public. That, the offer hasn't been accepted. Okay, I just want to make sure nobody said any names. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, let me make sure I've got my dates right because I do not see a date on here. Is that the 17th? The That's what Friday night possible. the 16th, 16th. is the mm -hmm. kickoff concert, and then the festival is on the 17th. Is that September? September? Mm -hmm. Yes. September and we're in the process of getting quotes for the audio now. Um, we think we have a Fleetwood Mac tribute band ready to yes. go for Friday mm -hmm. night. Um, Miss Jody will be out there oh. doing her thing. <laughs> we are still working on a soul kind of Motown band for Saturday night concert, or maybe even the Prince. Oh, um, yeah. she, I know she's reached out to them. She's waiting on them to contact her back. Um, we haven't had any luck with that yet. There was, I've seen a couple of different Prince tribute bands posting on Facebook, so that might not be the only one. So. I think she's reached out to two of them. She's reached out them. to two? Okay. Um, so I have not seen those. You haven't seen? I have not. One was playing downtown. At, I'm not going to do the bar, but they were playing downtown. I had several friends that, that went and said it was awesome. We need the ones we've seen in Gatlinburg. 
all those Motown guys. Oh, yeah. They were great. So that's still in the works. You know, that that's going to be a thing that gets updated pretty much every week. Um, she's still in the process of reaching out to vendors, craft vendors, um, demonstrators. Um, so none of that is really locked in yet. We've still got a little bit of time on that. But she did want to get the uh, any contracts that we have in front of the board as soon as possible. You know, some of the things that we talked about for the uh, <clears throat> anniversary picnic with that equipment stuff, that might be something pretty cool to add to that. You know, maybe not in such a big so many, but, you know, just something to think about. Kids like coming out, and if they don't get to see it for anniversary, maybe they'll be available then. But I was thinking it's funny how we come back in here in January and we sit down and we start talking about Old Timers Festival, and man, next thing you know, boom, it's here. Well, and that's a you know that's a year long project from us. That's not just something we can start working on in midsummer because we'd never have time to get everything in front of you guys and the board. Um, like the audio, I know she's. Anything over $2,500, we have to secure three quotes. So the audio is definitely going to be over that. So I think she's. I think her last quote came in today, um, or at least maybe the second quote. So, I mean, we're moving forward. If we wait to the last minute, there's no way by the time the attorney would look at everything and then the board would vote on it, um, there's no way we would get done if we waited. Are we going to have the – God, I hate to bring this up. Two things, actually. <laughs> That's why I whispered. The beer garden. <laughs> yes. Well, we plan on still doing that. You know, that would still have to come before the beer board. Well, actually, we don't have anybody do it now. Well, I think that establishment sold. Uh huh. So I don't That's know right. if the new owners would be willing to step in and, and go before the beer board and do that. Well, I know Kathy does have some contacts in Smyrna the people that do some of their stuff up there on uh, Front Street. And because uh, Mother Nature was so not good to us last year, are we going to try to get the train again? We do. I think see, we do have that online, the trackless train. Um, and I wish she was here because she has some other stuff scheduled for further out, like Parade of Lights, that I don't want to mention. I want to save that for her that I think you guys will be happy and pleased with. But I know she is working on the trackless train, and I cannot remember if that was for the block party. It must be for OTF because it's not listed under block party. So that contract, you know, has already gone through the board, and Evan's already seen that. So that, that shouldn't be any problem at all getting that back through there. All right. We'll talk well, more. We lucky last year. I say we got lucky. We OTF got rained out, but we had taken out insurance policy, so the the insurance did pay off on that day. Yeah, I remember the uh, coming before the Boma quite a bit, trying to get that figured out. Any more questions about OTF? I'm sure next month, the next couple of months, we'll be speaking a lot about it. Uh, Andrew is up next. And I, I hope he's got something good to talk about. That's all I can say. Well, the dog park, Mother Nature, has been kind of rough on us, but uh, it is scheduled to be paved. It was scheduled two weeks ago, so whenever uh, the city's contractor gets caught up, they are planning on paving. That's already marked out. The uh, stormwater department's been working in the back. I don't know if you've all been by the site, but they're fixing that retention pond. And then uh, we did get a... A quote on the fencing. We did. That was my next question. That has to come before Boma. So the meeting in May will be when the board votes on that. What's the address again? I'm sorry. 377 Stones River Road. You need to come down to the senior center and visit, yeah. and we'll show you where it's at. Okay. Uh, did we only get one bid? One bid. I guess I don't understand that myself, but I'm sure, you know. Well, we got one bid, and it wasn't even the company that gave us the original quote. Yes. So, yeah, it was a totally different company. So there's several options in there, um, four foot, five foot, and six fence with several different ways to attach it at the bottom. So I'm sure Felicia will put a packet together and present that at the next workshop. 
um, to give uh, the different the different cost of each size fence. If and when that comes into play, will the BOMA be the one to make the final decision on the height? I, th I think they – you will probably make the decision based on the figures. Uh, I think first I think first we quoted five foot fence, six the, foot. The first one was a six foot. Um, you know, we're not opposed to a four foot fence. Other dog parks around here about have that. Most mm -hmm. residential yards are four foot tall in the back. So our thinking was if we can save some money and we're in a crunch time, is it mm -hmm. worth the extra expense to go up a foot or two foot? Because I think Personally, I think a four-foot fence would be fine. Um, I think it's the dog owner's responsibility, to, even if you're in a closed area, to still basically keep track of your animal. Well, isn't Bark Park in Smyrna about four foot? It, it is. Yeah, that's perfect. I, got and I think the ones in Murfreesboro are four foot. Mm -hmm. um, I think our original design had called for a five-foot or a six-foot, mm -hmm. but the more we started looking at it, if we could save mm -hmm. some money there on that side, you know, materials and labor – along with COVID, everything has skyrocketed. So what we could have got when this first got the ball rolling several years ago has doubled or even tripled in price now. So that's kind of got us rethinking, okay, if we have to cut something back to try to make budget, it's better for us to have a four foot fence and a six foot fence and save $15,000 possibly. That's a big saving. But ultimately, yes, I believe that would be the board's decision. We'll put our recommendations in there. Felicia will probably, I don't know if she'll give you her recommendation. I think she'll probably just give you the figures and the and what all associated with the different sizes. Any more questions? All right. Female flag football. The date is uh, September the? September the 10th. September 10th. Uh, have we? Uh, have we thought about a, a time, place, everything, get it exact? So as far as the place, we talked about that front um, little front island. part up there. Right in front of the tennis court where the – back at the Winter Festival where the Christmas tree was at. Yep. It can hold a 50-yard field with a 10-yard end zone. And, uh, of course, we'll bring out bleachers, PA system. As far as time, I don't know what Giles wants to do on that. As far as what he has scheduled, he has already told people. I do know that he's so far just himself without adding uh, people that are interested. Uh, he's got 30 ladies lined up. Uh, May, uh, see, this is uh, April, May, June, probably about June-ish, July. We'll start really pumping it up, talking about it, you know, because what I'm learning is you talk about something right now it's it's pretty much it, it becomes very complacent and uh but I, I think it'll be all right uh, as a matter of fact i i'd like to get maybe a uh, the, i think I, if i'm thinking right i think a, a food truck and even that ice cream person that day would be good because it'll be hot and uh, i don't know if y'all have had a chance to try that yet i went down there last week and tried it and they're coming to the, uh, matter of fact, she told me she'd already talked to Kathy and she's coming to the events at the park at, uh, the, the name escapes me. Uh, at Sweets. Sweet Teas or, is that the name of it, I Sheila? Think so, yeah. Yeah, they've been setting up down at, uh, at Pizza Hut and uh, <coughs> they got all kind of stuff. So either that or, or, or an ice cream vendor. You know, speaking of that, is are we still working with uh, Rodriguez? Uh, Kona Ice. Kona Ice. Yes. So you know, something like that would be, but would be nice down there that day, especially if it's hot, because you know, September, it's going to be. I, I think it'll be real hot. One or the other. Yeah, it always makes every event a little more festive when you have a few vendors out there. It just kind of looks it like does. more of a, yeah. you know, organized event. But we're, we're going to blow that out of the water when it gets a little bit closer, so. Yeah. All right, does anybody got any comments? I just want to thank everybody over there at Parks and Rec. You're doing an amazing job. I know the events continue to grow every year but you just really knock them out of the park. And it's not one person. I know it's a whole group effort, 
but I just, each and every one of you, I want you to know how much we appreciate you. I did the traffic at the Easter thing, very well organized. It just flowed. Um, every event just gets better and better and better. Which makes our city better and better. And family fun activities, I mean, because Laverne is pretty much very industrial. And I feel, I'm, I'm liking all the stuff that's happening and I think it's great too. And if we could make a Californian happy, we have, <laughs> we have done right. our job. Kara? Uh, just to add on to what Laura and Jody have said, kudos to the Parks and Rec guys. Y'all are a team and you work together and you show up, uh, helped out at the Senior Center for their Easter egg hunt and food and we appreciate that also. So you guys are golden stars. Like, ditto, ditto, ditto. <laughs> That's about all I can say. Uh, the next meeting will be May the 16th at 6 p.m. Uh, be looking for your emails, text messages, phone calls. I call this meeting adjourned.